This is Football Nation America and welcome to our channel. When it comes down to it, we realize that getting paid to go around and tackle each other is pretty much the concept of football. However, sometimes the player's adrenaline can get pumped a little too hard causing the game to get a little more intense. In this case who doesn't like to see a little physical confrontation in sports? I'd say it makes things that much more interesting, as it gets everyone rattled up. With that being said, let's take a look at the top 10 NFL anger management moments. Number 10, Des Bryant vs. Jason Witten. Des Bryant has never been afraid to wear his emotions on his sleeve. The fourth-year wide receiver let those emotions get the best of him on the Cowboys' sideline Sunday, moments after Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford snuck into the end zone for the game-winning TD with just 12 seconds remaining in the game. Bryant and tight end Jason Witten were seen on the sideline screaming at each other, but it's unclear what sparked the altercation. Veteran linebacker Demarcus Ware, who was inactive with a quad strain, stepped in and grabbed Bryant by the collar to talk some sense into him. Bryant, 24, has been criticized in the past for his poor display of body language and his maturity on the field. Earlier in the game, Bryant was seen screaming at wide receivers coach Derek Dooley and quarterback Tony Romo, also for uncertain reasons. After the game, Bryant and Witten moved quickly to defuse the situation. Witten said he had no hard feelings, with Bryant and the two reportedly hugged in the locker room. Bryant explained it as simply a display of passion, and said, it's always positive. Number 9, Adam Hayward vs. Brian Cox. Tension and frustration struck the Tampa Bay Buccaneers sideline as linebacker Adam Hayward shoved linebackers coach Brian Cox. Tampa Bay lost a close game to the Philadelphia Eagles by a score of 23-21 last week and quickly found themselves in a 24-0 hole to the New Orleans Saints this week. In the midst of these troubles, this shove happened. It is clear that Cox was actually the one to push Hayward aside first as he attempted to yell towards someone on the field, but Hayward's two-arm shove in return was the issue. Whatever Hayward's reasoning, legitimate or not he cannot allow his emotions to get the best of him and put his hands on his own coach. This is the type of situation that both men will likely ignore or disregard after the game. Number 8. Andre Johnson vs. Cortland Finnegan. One of the NFL's best receivers of the past 15 years called it a career a few years back as Andre Johnson announced his retirement. He steps away from the game as a member of the Titans, but he'll forever be remembered for his historic career in Houston with the Texans. Despite his soft-spoken personality, fans will always remember the time he absolutely destroyed Cortland Finnegan in an on-field fight. You remember it, don't you? The Texans were playing the Titans at home on November 28, 2010. The two were going at it all game long, getting physical on the outside when Finnegan lined up across from Johnson. There were a few hard hits, a handful of cheap shots by both players, and overwhelming chippiness. It was downright physical football, and it was glorious, right up until the two came to blows in the fourth quarter with just under eight minutes to play. You gotta love Johnson's half-hearted apology in the post-game locker room when everyone in the stadium, including the guys in both locker rooms, knew Finnegan absolutely deserved it. Number 7. Philip Rivers rages as embarrassing. Philip Rivers rages as embarrassing chargers hit choppy waters again. Carson, in a moment of profound symbolism Sunday, he took a knee. This kneel down by an NFL player, however, had nothing to do with solidarity. Instead, Philip Rivers was the personification of the exact opposite, a man on the brink of splintering into a billion bits, Rivers oh so close to detonating right there on the sideline at StubHub Center. He was, to be certain, the face of frustration throughout another shockingly familiar-looking Chargers defeat, this one 26-24 to Philadelphia on just the latest day when the home team here was consumed by the happy, mocking noise of the visiting team's fans. Yeah, the face of frustration, all right, of screaming, veins protruding, fists clenched, blood bubbling, mad enough to punch a clown frustration. No kidding, Rivers midway through the third quarter riled up to the point where he could have challenged the AFC North to a fistfight. Trailing 16-10, the Chargers had 4th and 7 at the Eagles' 45-yard line. They lined up as if to go for it but never snapped the ball. Afterward, Lynn explained that there had been a thought about attempting to draw Philadelphia offsides and then trying to convert on 4th and 2. Instead, the decision was made to punt. This development resulted in Rivers stomping off the field, removing his helmet and shouting into it, tossing the poor, defenseless thing aside, and then storming away from his teammates and coaches to kneel alone several yards away. Number 6. Antonio Brown knocked out by Vontez Perfect. It's been almost five years since Vontez Perfect laid out Antonio Brown in a playoff game that left Brown concussed.
That hit was one of the reasons Burfecht was suspended for the first three games of the 2016 season but the Bengals linebacker remains convinced that Brown wasn't really injured on the play. He faked that, Burfecht recently told ESPN the magazine's Doton Akintoy. Burfecht isn't the only Bengals defender who questioned Brown. Days after the hit, cornerback Adam Jones was convinced that Brown flopped. He told Brandon Marshall that Brown winked at him, adding, Did you see him smile when he walked off the field? Go back and look at the film. Dot dot dot. I said, A B, you all right? Now if you're knocked out, you think you're going to be able to wink and think about all that at the same time. Jones later apologized when Brown was ruled out of the Steelers' next playoff game with a concussion. Weeks later, Brown remained critical of Burfick's hit. Number 5. Odell Beckham vs. Josh Norman. It has become one of the most talked about rivalries in all of the NFL. And this Sunday, all eyes will be on Washington Redskins cornerback Josh Norman and Giants receiver Odell Beckham Jr. when the two face off for the first time since their memorable battle last season 2016. But how did we get here? In a Week 15 showdown between the Giants and the Panthers, a pregame scuffle involving several Carolina Panthers defenders, including Norman and practice squad player Marcus Ball, who wielded a baseball bat, irritated Beckham to the point of his losing composure. A physical game between Beckham and Norman unfolded, Beckham was flagged for three personal fouls and Norman drew two. The tension boiled over when Beckham launched himself at Norman on a dangerous helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. Both players were fined, and the NFL suspended Beckham one game. While on the offseason media circuit, Norman appeared on an ESPN show and was shown a photo of Beckham and asked for a one-word response. Norman simply said, OK. Beckham responded by subtweeting Norman, saying, that boy should thank me for all I've done for you. You're welcome though. LOL. Number 4. Bill Carpenter and his helmet. It's clear that missing yet another extra point attempt left Buffalo Bills kicker Dan Carpenter frustrated. After Buffalo running back, Carlos Williams scored a two-yard touchdown against the New York Jets early in the second quarter Sunday, Carpenter came out for the extra point to try to give the team a 14-point lead. For the sixth time this season, he missed the kick. Not pleased with himself, Carpenter slammed his helmet to the ground when he got to the sideline. And because things weren't going well for him, the helmet bounced back up and hit him in the face. Not the best sequence of events for the kicker but remarkable anger management. Number 3. Bill Belichick grabs referee. When in doubt, blame the officials. That has been the motto of coaches, players and fans around the NFL for the past three weeks, and for an excellent reason. The Baltimore Ravens beat the New England Patriots with a field goal on the final play of the game. Replays appeared to show that the ball traveled directly above the upright, which would be a good field goal, see below. And to be fair, nobody has a better view of the play than the official looking straight up. But that didn't stop Bill Belichick from running after one of the officials and trying to stop him by grabbing his arm. And after the league warned coaches about how they treat the replacement officials, Belichick is facing a fine at the very minimum. And considering this is not Belichick's first time breaking NFL rules, he could be facing a suspension, especially if the NFL is serious about sending a message. Number 2. Jim Harbaugh erupt on the sideline. There are few things as entertaining in college football as watching Michigan Wolverines head coach Jim Harbaugh erupt on the sideline. An angry Jim Harbaugh is intimidating. An angry Jim Harbaugh who rips his jacket off because he's steaming with passion? Try terrifying. The Michigan coach got so heated over a pass interference penalty that he ripped his jacket off mid-sideline fit. The call went against Wolverines safety Jabril Peppers, who exchanged some shoves with a Penn State wide receiver. Number 1. Akib Talib and Michael Crabtree. Oakland receiver Michael Crabtree and Denver cornerback Akib Talib have been suspended for two games each without pay after they fought during their teams. The fight was a continuation of a dispute that started last season when Talib ripped Crabtree's chain off during the season finale. Crabtree missed the first game between the teams this year but didn't wait long to seek revenge. Crabtree punched Denver cornerback Chris Harris Jr. while blocking him on the first play of Oakland's second drive. He then aggressively blocked Talib on a running play and drove him to the ground on the Broncos' sideline on the following play, starting the brawl. It is safe to say that Los Angeles Rams cornerback Akib Talib and current unrestricted free agent wide receiver Michael Crabtree aren't the best of friends. However, it appears as though the two have taken a step in the right direction towards settling their differences, according to TMZ. The two were recently spotted at a Texas go-kart track and decided to talk it out en route to making strides toward erasing their lingering beef. That is all for the top 10 NFL anger management moments.
If you did like this video let me know by clicking that like button. And what's your favorite anger management moment? Let us know in the comment section below. See you soon with the new top 10 videos here at Football Nation America.